yesterday, agents from the Matrix launched an egregious attack on the most important website on the internet, a website called The Real World, formerly known as Andrew Tate's Hustlers University. Not only did this non-consensual penetration expose 14 gigabytes of data, like extremely valuable course content that will make you rich, but it also leaked the usernames and emails of over 700,000 members, including the contents of their public and private chat rooms. The hackers described the website as hilariously insecure, and through my own private research, I was able to reverse engineer the tech stack. And you'll never guess which language allowed Top G's backdoor to be exposed. But the data leak is not even the worst part of this incident. It's what the attackers did in the chat room afterwards. It is November 24th, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. I have degrees from Tech Lead Academy, Clever Programmer Bootcamp, and Hustlers University, but I still can't find a job. The tech job market is broken, so I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel instead. At Hustlers University, they teach you that money making is a skill, and you learn that lesson very quickly when you pay $50 a month to join the program. When you realize you just got hustled out of $50, you then have all the knowledge you need to go and start your own university. This hack revealed 795,000 usernames and email addresses, and the website currently claims to have over 100,000 active members, which would bring in over $5 million per month in revenue. The data was published on ddossecrets.com, which is a nonprofit that analyzes hacked data sets. In addition, if you're part of the Hustlers University alumni, you can find out if you've been pwned on haveibeenpwned.com. In addition to the user data, though, there's actual content from the public and private chat rooms, with topics like AI automation, content creation, health and fitness, and so on. It's also a great place to discuss crypto, and in fact, Andrew even has his own shitcoin that you can invest in called Daddy, which recently dropped 40% and many people have labeled it a scam. I went through some of these messages myself, and some of the content is a bit too crazy to post here on YouTube, but there were also discussions about the tech stack, like this message from one developer who used ChatGPT to build the Tate Terminal. For you poor people out there who don't know what Tate Terminal is, it's a shitcoin entirely managed by AI, which is inspired by Mark Andreessen's Truth Terminal. But I also found a post with a job listing for a full stack developer. In that post, it says the stack is TypeScript, Tailwind CSS, WebSockets, and REST. In addition, it has a desktop wrapper, and uses Capacitor for iOS and Android. Capacitor is a tool that allows you to take a crappy web app, then run it in a web view on iOS or Android to build an even crappier mobile app quickly. Now, on the main signup page, they use Next.js, although that doesn't appear to be the case for the main application. The main website is bundled with Vite and includes React.js. What's more interesting, though, are these DNS prefetch links in the head of the document, which are likely where the backend services are hosted. For example, if we go to the API URL and then navigate to a random URL, in the response headers, we see the server is Cloudflare, but nothing that tells us what the actual framework is. If we go to a 404 page, it has the text Rocket in it, which might mean the Rocket Rust framework, or maybe Rocket Chat, which is an open source TypeScript based chat framework. But actually, that's not correct. It is, in fact, Rust Rocket, which is one of the tools used to build Revolt Chat. Things get even weirder because you see, a few years ago in 2022, the developer of Revolt, another open source chat platform, accused Tate of stealing a software by violating their AGPL license. And at the time, it was a small project developed by a teenager. It's crazy to think that Hustlers University was stealing open source software from kids. I'm not sure if this ever got resolved, but it seems they're still using a closed source fork of Revolt, despite the developer trying to work with them in a very reasonable way. In any case, it appears the hackers were able to break authentication on this API, and one thing that might have helped them is that their front-end JavaScript bundle includes all the code comments and is not obfuscated, making it much easier to reverse engineer. But the most embarrassing thing about this situation is what the hackers did to make their presence known. They went into the university's primary chat room and flooded it with emojis like the transgender flag, a feminist fist, and images of the top G himself wearing a rainbow flag. And this all happened while Tate was live streaming on Rumble. It's yet another embarrassment for Tate, but he's not the real victim of this penetration. The real victims are the 800,000 graduates who once held a highly respected diploma. Now it's just a worthless piece of paper, no better than a college degree. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.